Hello everyone, welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So if you've seen a couple of my recent episodes, you'll know that I've been contacted by a mysterious stranger by the name of Dr. Kramens Bulovic, who claims to be launching an incredible new fragrance, which he is calling Swordfish, and apparently he wants my help in promoting it. So I've uh, continued to get emails from him, and I'm going to keep you updated today with the latest ones. So here they come. Uh, so, the yeah, here we, here we have one. Good news, Mr. Smelly. We have a confirmed appointment with Federica Sinisi at Harrods for September the 5th. We need you to be there. We will have with us the final sample of Swordfish. These are exciting times for us all. It's a 9.30 meeting, so will you require a hotel? All I need from you is to talk about the fact that Swordfish is possibly the best fragrance you have ever smelt in your lifetime. Now, I've never actually smelt it, uh, but OK. Uh, of course, you can invoice me for your time if you wish, but you will have 2% share in my company last night i had the most amazing dish a friend of mine came over and cooked me pasta di sardine in other words pilchard pasta this is possibly the best meal i have ever had should i send the recipe reply in timely fashion to confirm the meeting good day from vlad bully the next day I got this. Hi, Danny boy. A bit over familiar there. We have had T-shirts designed for the meeting, but to remain totally professional, you will still wear the jacket. Then, during the meeting, you will say, Phew, I am hot. May I take off my jacket? Then they will see the corporate T-shirt. And he sent me the T-shirt design. Here it is. This is actually what he sent. Impressive, isn't it? Uh, so, how do I smell? Hashtag swordfish. Uh, brilliant. OK, uh, and finally, my secretary, Annabelle, has booked you a room on the 4th of September at Princess Gardens Hotel, Wattsway, Westminster, SW7. Uh, it has a swimming pool, but more importantly, I have requested a room with a bath. When we visit Frederica, I want us both to be reeking of swordfish. When you check in, there will be a 200ml bottle which has a strong concentration of swordfish. Please bath in it in the morning before the meeting. Make sure you stay in the bath for at least 30 minutes. We only get one shot at this. If you want to know more about what happens and there have been some more developments, let me know and I can keep you updated. Hello everyone, welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So yes, do let me know if you're interested to hear. The, these emails that I'm getting from Vlad Bully are real. They're not made up by me and I, don't, I honestly don't know who it is. Let me know in the comments below. It must be someone who knows me. In, probably in the fragrance community obviously so let me know in the comments below any guesses who we think it might be i honestly don't know okay let's get into the video we're going to be talking about fragrances from doer fragrances today and we've got three new ones or at least new to me and fairly recent releases in their concept series i love this series i love this idea i love this new thing that's happening with some of these so-called clone brands where they do combinations inspired blends if you like where they take two well-known niche fragrances and do their interpretation of if you blended them or mix them together in some cases they've picked already popular fragrance combinations such as uh, creed's virgin island water with aventus which uh, do it called Poseidon in the Caribbean, love that one, superb. And in these cases, sometimes they're less obvious combinations and they've really branched out. They're doing some that no one had thought of at all, in fact. But uh, let's get into the three for today. Before that, my scent of the day, just in case you think, well, you wouldn't actually buy these, you wouldn't actually wear them. Uh, I wear quite often a flagship, which is a brilliant uh, original creation from Dua. They do send me all these fragrances free, but I de definitely wear quite a few of them. And flagship with that fantastic bottle design there is a wonderful original creation, a citrus aromatic that I absolutely adore. All three fragrances today then are new ones sent for me to me for free, but I picked out the ones I was most interested in to try. They're all priced at $65 on the company's website in the USA, and that's for a 30 ml bottle. As you can see, we get rather lovely label designs now on these, uh, but they are kind of basic compared to some presentations on other fragrance brands. By the way, exciting news, they are gonna be offering expedited shipping on Amazon very soon. So you can have the fragrances shipped from within Europe rather than having to wait for them to arrive from the United States. So that's really exciting news. I'll keep you updated on that. Let's get into the three fragrances anyway. Um, first of all then, we have Caribbean Casino. Okay, so Caribbean Casino is their take on a combination of, let me get this right, what would be uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkjohn and Virgin Island Water by Creed. Okay, so the doer versions, they've got uh, something called Caribbean Waters, which is their Virgin Island Water version, and they've got Casino Royale, which is their take on Baccarat Rouge 540. If you combine those, you might get something that smells rather like this. Now I've got these on bits of paper. So this one has Caribbean Casino and I've had these for a week or so. 
and so I've had a chance to try them properly. Uh, Caribbean Casino is a really, really nice combination. So with the Baccarat Rouge 540 has this kind of minty candy floss aura about it and quite a bit of ambergris in it too. Really, really beautiful, well-loved fragrance. And of course, Creed's Virgin Island Water, coconut and lime, maybe the two main things. So you end up with Caribbean Casino with the following notes listing. Bergamot, Jamaican lime, mandarin, saffron, ylang ylang, Egyptian jasmine, white rum, ambergris, cedar, Moroccan almond, and hibiscus. It's a mouth-watering note listing. This is a really perfect take on Casino Royale or Baccarat Rouge 540 for a more summery, bright, fresh feel on it. Really nice combination. Of course, there's already a bit of sweetness in the Casino Royale. And then if you mix in the Virgin Island Water style coconut note, it just works perfectly. It's got this lime freshness in there. It combines really well. You might think, well, could this end up being a bit of a car crash, a bit of a mess? but it really works for me. I find that all the Casino Royale things where they've blended that, it seems to take really well to other fragrances and you get this really juicy combination of the Virgin Island water, kind of fresh zingy lime, that kind of rum thing in there as well with the lovely, really distinctive kind of fluffy cloud of loveliness that is Baccarat Rouge 540 or Casino Royale. So just, I think the perfect summer holiday fragrance for people who really maybe love Baccarat Rouge 540, but they want a bit of that tropical citrusy feel as well. And the performance on all of these is really strong, but particularly any of the Casino Royale themed ones seem beast mode. I had these on these pieces of paper from about two days ago and they were still really strong before I filmed this video. I resprayed them just to get the top notes. Absolutely love that one. Really, really good. Going to be enjoying wearing that. You can, I would wear that any time of year. Don't forget, if you'd like to join the Smelly Army Private Members Club over on Patreon, there's a link in the description to do that. It costs just $2 a month and you get an extra video from me every week. Plus, you get to watch everything I've already uploaded in there. We're building a really nice community, lots of interaction, and I'd love to see you in there. Next up, a really interesting and unusual one. I'd never thought of this combi combination at all. And I was thinking, is that going to work? There's only one way to find out. This is called Poseidon's Invasion. This is their combination of Invasion Bar Bar by in, uh, MDCI Parfums with Poseidon's Elixir, their Eventus interpretation, which there are a few different versions of. I think their Poseidon's Elixir series are really good. They claim in some cases to mimic certain batches like 11Z01 of uh, Eventus or 11Z01. I haven't tried those batches, but I think they're very good Aventus interpretations. Not the cheapest ever, but they are high quality in my humble opinion. So to combine that with Invasion Bar Bar or something similar, which that of course the Dua version is called Invasion of the Barbers. I have that one. It's very, very close to the original. Not identical, but they get darn close in the air. Many people have a, a hard time telling them apart. Combining the two then, of course, well, I wouldn't have necessarily put these two together. Invasion Barber are kind of modern barbershop powdery scent with cardamom and lavender, and of course, Aventus pineapple, ber bergamot, birchwood. So the, uh, the note listing ends up combining apple, pineapple, bergamot, lavender, violet birch, blackcurrant, rose, cardamom, vanilla, thyme, musk, patchouli, cedar, oak moss, and ambergris. So a lot of different notes in there. It really is rather challenging and interesting. At first I was thinking, do I like that or not? It's, you know, do would I rather just have Invasion Bar Bar type smell or Aventus? But as it dries down, I mean, the opening is rather in your face. You do get that burst of pineapple and you get that kind of powdery, milky, distinctive Invasion Bar Bar thing that if you've, if you've got it, if you know it, and I have a decant of that and a full bottle and decants of Aventus, you'll know it well. Uh, the dry down I really love on this one. It gives you that kind of powdery barbershop feel, but it lightens it up, zests it up a little bit with the pineapple and the, the, um, the bergamot. There's patchouli in there, which I, uh, you know goes well from the Aventus with the other kind of barbershop. He notes the lavender that you don't, I think, get in Aventus now is in there a little bit. And it's really, really masculine, unique. And if you, you know, if you're sick of Creed Aventus, but you, the stuff about it that you still like, and you want to do something different with Creed Aventus and, and go for something no one else is going to have smelled, this could be my favourite of the bunch of these three. I really, really love it. I think still narrowly my favourite of all time of these blends that they've done is probably uh, the Aventus and Virgin Island water combination. But this probably running at a close second now. I do really like the Casino Royale themed ones too. So yeah, uh, but yeah, this one absolutely superb, really unusual, 
but it works for me. After th having gone back and forth, I find on my skin after time, it works, it lasts ages, it projects really well, as does the other one. Great longevity, always with Dua. Great for compliments because you will be smelled. Moving on then, finally, we have the juiciest, the freshest, maybe the freshest blend they've ever done yet, I think, Caribbean Supernova. This takes Supernova, which is their take on Roger Dove's Elysium, a very bright, fresh fragrance, often compared to Aventus, but different in its own way. And of course, mix it with Caribbean Waters, which is the Dua version of Virgin Island Water. So you are going to have an overload of freshness because both fragrances, unlike the other two, are very much in the citrus freshy type category. So the note listing ends up being coconut, grapefruit, vetiver, blackcurrant, rum, bergamot, lemon, hibiscus, jasmine, juniper, rose, ylang lang, cedarwood, musk, ambergris, labdanum, thyme and cypriol. It's as juicy and fresh as anything you can possibly imagine. Uh, if the combination of Virgin Island water with Aventus is fresh, this is just that little bit fresher, that bit sharper, because um, Supernova is really, really bright and piercing, as is Elysium by Roger Dove. And the coconut that you get from the Virgin Island water just smooths that out a little bit, and it, it gives you, in a way, the best of both worlds. So again, a fantastic summer holiday type fragrance, a superb, really, really bright, natural smelling, long lasting, freshy, and just great fun to combine those two scents. How many of us can afford to buy Supernova and Virgin Island water and apply them on a regular basis. But here we have the opportunity to do that. So really, really enjoy that. Um, the negatives on these, well, they're not super cheap. It's $65 for 30 mil. That's not a very, very cheap price. Also, they're not totally original, although these are kind of unique because you can't buy these pre-mixed in this way anywhere else. But of course, people who want original perfumery will deride these things. So I'm not going to just say it's all good. But for me, I think there are several here that I would buy with my own money. I have still got pretty much all the ones they've ever sent me. So I've got a great collection and there's quite a few with a considerable dent. So I rate them. And I think for the average perfume fan, there's probably two or three at least in their category log that you might really enjoy. And these new blends, I'm really enjoying them and enthused about them. This is something fun and different in perfumery. And that's what I do this channel for, to share with you the things that excite me. These definitely do. And thank you very much to the company for supplying them. So let me know, guys, in the comments below what you think about these new blended uh, concept series fragrances from Dua and some of the other brands out there. Have you tried any of them? What concepts, what blends would you like to see done? Let us know in the comments below. Who knows? Maybe they'll take notes and make the one that you think up. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.